Federal High Court judgment delivered in Abuja on the 25th of January this year by Justice Gabriel Kolawole. The Supreme Court of Nigeria has enrolled a law graduate at the Lagos State University, Mrs. Rachel Obodo, 10 years after graduation. Addressing journalists in Abuja on what he targed a celebration of justice, lawyer representing Mrs. Obodo, Chief Ogu Onoja said the judgment has again raised the expectations of ordinary Nigerians who may be at the verge of giving up on the nation's judicial system. While abstaining from discussing the merits or details of the case, Chief Ogu appeals to Nigerians to exercise patience, since the wheels of justice may grind slowly, but it remains the best alternative for the attainment of justice. The dream of every law graduate is to be called to bar after completing their studies at the Nigerian Law School. But for Mrs. Rachel Obodo, the dream of becoming a learned counsel remained a dream for 10 years until a human rights activist, Chief Ogu Onoja, took up her case at the Federal High Court in Abuja and secured judgment in her favor. It is on record that Mrs. Obodo in her undergraduate years was above average academically and I never failed any papers while at Lasso. She graduated in 1999 and got admission into the Nigeria Law School Abuja same year for her training as barrister and solicitor. However, the authority of the Lagos State University in a purported human error included her name among those that failed their final LLB examination and the Nigerian Law School honestly acting on the strength of this erroneous and fatal inclusion we drew Mrs. Obodo from the law school program to sort out the problem at last week. For the victim of the injustice by the Lagos State University and her husband, the judgment of the Federal High Court Abuja, delivered by Justice Gabriel Kolawole, is a testimony that victory is certain for those who are patient. It began with last week, down to the Nigerian law school, and since then we've been on the battle since... 2001, since 2000, not until 2008, you know, when God used the chief beside me here, you know, God sent him as an angel to me, you know, used him to file this matter in court and God being on our side, judgment was given in our favor. There has always been times of discouragement more especially to her, from her own side, you know, somebody who, after having gone through bigs, and at the end of the day, she has nothing to show for it. But being whom God has made me to be as a man of God, I've always take time to comfort her and make her understand that God can still make it happen. And thank God that, just like I've always told her, God actually make it to happen. Although the counsel to Mrs. Obodo, Chief Ogu, said the victim has decided not to sue for damages, he commended the judiciary for upholding the rights of an aggrieved person. Today, Mrs. Rachel Obodo can be addressed as a solicitor and advocate of the Supreme Court of Nigeria. His sojourn through the battle for this privilege to be called learned has been tortuous, psychotious, and twisted. She did not only lose her beloved father and brother in the struggle, she lost integrity and the purpose for training. Her story epitomizes the eternal struggle of human spirit and dexterity. It is a story of patience, determination, and unshaking faith in God. Although Mrs. Obodo can be addressed as a solicitor and advocate of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, her sojourn through the battle for the privilege to be called learned is no doubt a torturous journey which many may not survive.